<laughs> there was there was a reaction last night on the drive home. <laughs> hey, would, would the girl that I pulled up next to last night in the car <laughs> and was singing? Does she happen to be here? Yeah, she's over there. Where are you? Tiny dancer? Hi. Okay, so that made my night, by the way. So I pull up to her. What's your name? Michaela. Pull up to Michaela. She's got Tiny Dancer, Elton John, just blaring on her radio. <laughs> Who is this woman? Great song. Rock and Saturday night. It's, 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 it's just a, it's a stoplight. There's no other cars in sight. Cliff and I pull up right next to her. My window's down. There she is. She doesn't really notice. She's just into her music and waiting for the light to turn. And it was right at when the chorus drops. And Cliff just goes, we should sing. <laughs> and so Cliff and I and you go, home and lost the town of the And I don't know. She turns to look. With almost like this kind of disgusted look on her face, like, <laughs> like really. <laughs> but what, what went from what went from really turned to this? She goes, whoa. <laughs>
totally lost their shit. Um, actually, there was one interesting one recently where um, I was crossing the border, because um, I commute across the border most days um, for work, and I was crossing the border, and I got up to the, um, the checkpoint, and there was a guy who was in his 50s, and he was like, oh, oh, I, I know who you, you're, it says Dimitri on your, your passport, but I know you're Misha, I know you, I know you. You know, my family does gish, we know you, we know you. I looked you up, I know your address. First of all, it sounds super illegal, whatever you're saying. And then, and then he said, wait, 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 wait here, wait here, I have to get my phone. And uh, when you're at the Peace Arch crossing on the five, it's, um, I don't know, maybe eight, nine lanes across, and we were in the extreme right-hand side. And he shut the gate, there was a line of traffic. He shut the gate and then ran across all a skinny dude. He ran across all the lines, and then he came back with his camera, and he's like, "Let's take some pictures." <laughs> it was pretty great. I mean, he was really, actually, very sweet, and it was kind of endearing. But it was like, that's not what I was expecting when I went to the border today. Uh, we have a location there that I've been waiting for 15 years to go. That you guys go, which is the Winchester Mystery House. And it was great. I took a little tour, and there were, you know, eight of us in the tour, and we're walking around the house, and we have a guide, and she's talking about this and that. And at first I was like, ah, oh, man, it's gonna be weird, like, they're gonna be fans, because I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> um, but no one really bothered me. And then, uh, uh, and then, when the tour was over, she was like, thank you guys so much. For, uh, for taking the tour, I hope you enjoyed it. And Jared and Genevieve, can I take a picture with you guys? I'm a huge fan. <laughs> so I ended up taking a picture with the rest of them. I was like, yes. <laughs> and, uh, it's a really, it's a cool, it's a cool story. Yeah, and uh, um, I'd love to go back. I haven't been in about seven years now, six years. Uh, have you been? Mm. No. <laughs> it's wild. It's a wild. I don't want to go there because everyone's gonna know me and want pictures with me. <laughs> you would think. Ryan Seacrest, what are you doing here?